This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can offset a path using Adobe Illustrator. Before we get started though, let me just briefly explain what offsetting is so that you know what it is that we're doing here. When you offset a path, you're basically increasing or decreasing the size of that path by adding space around its perimeter as opposed to just increasing the width and the height. Let me show you here what I mean. When you scale an object, whether it be up or down, what you're doing is you're adding, and you're either adding or removing to either the width or the height or both. Let me show you what I mean here. If I scale this up, if you notice the result here between the original shape and the new shape, there's less padding over here than there is over here. That's because we didn't offset the path. We just increased the size of it. Now, if you want to create a copy of this shape with an equal amount of padding around the edges here, as I've done here, you will need to offset the path, which is represented by this blue object right here. So let me show you how this can be done. Let me take this over here and get rid of that. And I'm going to create an offset from this path right here. So to do that, make sure you have the object selected. Go to Object, Path and select Offset Path. And when you do that, you'll get this little menu that pops up. Go ahead and tick the preview box so you can see what happens before you do it. And over here, you can change the size of the offset using a, numerical val using a numerical value that you can input right there. Or what I like to do is I like to just triple click on the text right there to select it all, and then just roll up and down the mouse wheel. You can roll up to increase the offset or roll down to decrease the offset like that. So let me go ahead and put that back up over here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And there you go. Now you have created an offset of that object. Now let me show you what some of those other options were in that menu real quick because those options are rather important based on what it is that you're trying to offset. Let me grab a more suitable shape here, which would be a star. Go ahead and create this. There we go. Let me make this uh, a color that we can see a little better. Let me decrease the uh, opacity there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an offset of this. I'm going to go to Object, Path, and I'm going to select Offset Path. And as you can see, we have our offset going around the edge of the object here. Now, if you notice where it says joins, we have these three options. By default, you should have miter selected. With miter selected, it'll make it so that the edges or the corners of your offset will be sharp like the corners of the original object. If you want to make those corners rounded, you could just go ahead and choose round, and it'll give it rounded corners, as you can see there. Or you can choose bevel, which will give it kind of like a squared off or, or cut off corners, as you can see there. And then finally, if you come back up here to miter, we have the miter limit. You can just increase or decrease that based on the path that you're working with. So if you're trying to add a miter offset around a path and you're ending up with something like this right here, just go ahead and increase the miter limit to see if that fixes it. So I think that should do it for uh, the offset path menu. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And there you go. That is how you can go about offsetting a path using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.